It's all there. You leave on the 22nd, shipping back to Iraq. Subsection 12305, Title 10, by the authority of the President. You didn't stop lost. Stop Loss is a new film directed and co-written by Kimberly Peirce. It's her long-awaited follow-up to Boys Don't Cry, her debut which came out in 1999. Stop Loss is the latest in a series of movies dealing with the war in Iraq. And like a lot of those movies, it's uneven, it's well-intentioned, but it also has a lot of energy and conviction and some very good performances, including above all by Ryan Philippe, who is not an actor who always brings a lot of feeling or authenticity to his roles, but here he's really quite good. This war ain't never gonna be behind me. Philippe plays a squad leader. We first see him and his fellow soldiers in Tikrit in Iraq, where they're in the middle of a bloody firefight where some of them are killed and others are wounded. And he and his buddies go back rather shaken, but also relieved to be home to Brazos, Texas, his hometown, where he and his best buddy, played by Channing Tatum, reunite with Tatum's fiance, who's played by the Australian actress Abby Cornish. She and I will make some cute Tex-Mex babies. And what happens next is that Philippi's character discovers that he's been stop-lost, which means that he's been called back for another tour of duty. Shipping back soldiers who's supposed to be getting out. It's a backdoor draft is what it is. And this precipitates the movie's long, somewhat unconvincing middle. He goes AWOL with his best friend's fiance. There's a lot of agonizing about what he's going to do. Is he going to go back? No, 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 out of the question, Mom. I ain't dragging my tail across to Mexico. I'll take you. At this point, the movie starts to founder a little bit, and there's a lot of speechifying and big emotional scenes. And in the end, Stop Loss never quite arrives at any resolution. But this, in a way, is part of the movie's honesty, since the war itself has not arrived at much of a resolution. In addition to Philippi's performances, there are other very good ones. Abby Cornish is excellent, although she has a little bit of trouble with the Texas accent. And Joseph Gordon-Levitt is, as always, terrific as a younger, more unstable member of the squad. From Tom and Charlotte. Out of the way! And all in all, this movie has a lot going for it. I think we still are waiting for the movie that really captures the full range of emotions and ideas and problems associated with the war in Iraq. But given the way the war is going, there's probably plenty of time for someone to make that movie and get it out there. I can't be a military wife.